Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna continue the series on what can be found in a mall. So if you are curious on what kind of shops I've been to, what products they offer and at what prices, don't hesitate to stick together with me during this entire video. I also inserted some interesting facts and things about these shops just to spice it up a bit. Do you wanna find out the most scandalous stuff about the first shop? Let's go to it. Small disclaimer here, I'm just telling you guys what I found interesting to know. I'm not saying that may be true, may not be true, but I really thought that if there were interesting things to know for me, it may be interesting things to know for you as well. I think everyone knows CNA and probably we all have some clothes from them. They are a Dutch textile company, so they're selling clothes and there are quite a few interesting stuff about them. One of the things that I found it pretty, or maybe I'm biased, but pretty disturbing is the fact that they didn't have any woman in their management until the late 1990s. That's quite late in the normal world, right? And also that the managing directors have to retire at the age of 50. Who knows? Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Either way, quite interesting. I also found an article from 2018 where CNA was accused for using Chinese prisoners to make clothes. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. Wow, we got to the most criticized brand lately. So Victoria's Secret, starting from bullying and harassment, not wanting to cast more diverse and inclusive models, or the fact that the billionaire CEO has ties to a convicted sex offender. The list is enormous. Let's see what we can find in Victoria's Secret that just opened in our mall, which is quite dubious because the sales are falling in United States and I don't know for how long this brand will still be here standing. I'm 
not really a fan of a mango shop but it is one of the most biggest brands of fast fashion shops in the mall so i had to show you what products can be found in here i was mind blown by the fact that they were linked to the 2013 rana plaza factory collapse trust me that's very very sad i strongly advise you to prepare psychically before um, digging a bit more in the story that is one of the reasons why I started going more and more to secondhand shops. The second thing that I found it quite disturbing related to Mango and quite funny is whomever took the decision of making some bracelets that they advertised them as slave style, which is so wrong. <laughs> To begin with so they uh, actually apologized about it but still who has the brilliant idea to call this jewelry as being slave style in 2013 I found two interesting things that I wanted to share with you extra from the images and the products that can be found in here. Now, one would be the pronunciation of the name of this shop. Apparently, I was doing it wrongly. It's not Miniso, it's Meso or Meso. I, I'm not sure. I'm sorry for my uh, Chinese uh, pronunciation. I have no idea on how to really pronounce it correctly. But the point is that it's really, really different from Miniso. Now, that would be one thing. The second thing, as you can see from the images, is the fact that it's weird. They, they look like a Japanese shop, but then actually they are a Chinese retailer. So basically, they're disguised <laughs> as a Japanese retailer when they actually sell Chinese products. Now, there was a big scandal about this. Uh, from what I read, uh, they actually apologized for this uh, misunderstanding. If you want to know more, you can always Google it. Let's interact a bit in the comments down below by telling me if you know any other facts, interesting facts about some shops, some retailers. I'm really, really curious. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you to the next one.